Okay, next example. The monthly profit for a company that makes decorative picture frames depends on the price per frame. The company determines that the profit is approximated by F of P equals, where little p is the price per frame and F of P is the monthly profit based on that price. Okay, so we have price per frame is our little p, that's our x value, and our y value is the monthly profits. That's our x comma y. And our function is given by y equals negative 80 x squared plus 3440x minus 36,000. Okay, if you don't like the, the F's and the P's, change them to X's and Y's. We could have done that on the last one too, instead of T's and H's. Okay, do you see that that's a parabola that opens which way? It opens down. So if it opens down, it's going to have a maximum. maximum. Find the price that generates the maximum profits. So on letter A, what are they asking you to find? The X value or the Y value? Find the price. Find the X value of the vertex. How do you find the X value of a vertex? X equals negative B over 2A. So what do you get? A is negative 80. B is 3440, and C is negative 36,000. So negative B is negative 3440 over 2 times negative 80. Negative 3440 divided by 2 times negative 80 is. 21.5. That's how much you have to charge per frame to maximize your profit. So guess what they're going to ask next? What is the maximum profit? Plug that x value into your original function to come up with your y value. So y is going to equal negative 80 times 21.5 squared plus 3440 times 21.5 minus 36,000. I want to store this value as my x and type in negative 80 x squared What did you get? 980? When I sell my frame at 2150 each, I maximize my profit at $980. So the next question is to find the price that would enable the company to break even. <coughs> so what's going to equal zero? For this question, to break even, you want your profit to be zero, right? If you want to break even, you want your profit to be zero. So for part C, you're going to set zero equal to negative 80x squared All right, that's nothing more than finding the <coughs> x-intercepts. Use a quadratic formula. And I'm going to go do it all on my calculator. A is negative 80. B is 3440. And C is negative 36,000. 
We stored A, B, and C into our variables. Our quadratic formula is negative B plus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. If I do the minus there, I'm going to put a minus sign. 18 and 25. Okay, when's the first break even point? 18. So if I sell the, pro the frames at $18 per frame, I would break even. What maximized it? Yeah, your break-even should be less than your max on this one because it's quadratic. Yeah. 